Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Adam Zushimule, the former governor of uh, Edo State and also the former national chairman of APC, has finally spoken from his hiding. For a while now, we've not heard his voice despite all the activities that is ongoing in APC. But finally, he has decided to speak out. And so shockingly, he, he has opened up on some things and uh, has also spoken about his achievement and that if he is granted another opportunity to become the chairman of APC again, guess what he say he will do let's listen to the news but before we continue uh, if you've not subscribed to our channel just hit the red subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you can get notification anytime we publish our video adams Shimole, who is a former governor of edo state and also the former national chairman of the all progressive congress apc says if he's given a second chance he will not lead the ruling party in a statement on Monday, Oshimule said he remains proud of the achievement of the party's National Working Committee, NWC, under his leadership. Oshimule, who said he holds no grudge against anyone who contributed to his removal, added that he has instructed his lawyers to withdraw the suit challenging his suspension. According to him, and I quote his word, he said, I instructed my lawyers to withdraw the suit challenging my purported suspension from office by the proxies of those bent on removing me as chairman. He went further to say it is therefore the height of mischief to insinuate as it is being done in some quarters that I would publicly accept the decision and let us surreptitiously seek to contest it in court. That chapter of my political life is closed, even if another neck decision or a court order reverses the dissolution with utmost humility, I would decline to return as APC chairman. I am proud of the achievement of the NWC under my leadership, and I am grateful to the principal 18 members who work as a team committed to the cause of the party. Above all, I bear no grudges against anyone for the manner of my removal. Shimole expressed gratitude to President Muhammadu Buhari for the support his administration gave to him as chairman of APC. A federal capital territory high court suspended Shimole on March 5th, four months after the former governor was suspended from his state chairman or the state chapter of the party. On June 25th, Oshimule led National Working Committee was dissolved following a leadership tussle. A caretaker committee chaired by Maimala Buni, Yobe governor and former national secretary was set up in place of the dissolved NWC. And Osho Baba, we all know who Osho Baba is. If he speaks, Nigerians will respond. So Nigerians have also entered the social media to respond to Osho Baba, who has not been speaking for a while now. Let's look at what Nigerians have to say. And this one says, I don't blame him. That is why the federal government don't need men like this that will spoil the image of APC. Another person say, Osho Baba, your boy has banned you from active politics. Just resume your tailoring work. Thank God you are good at it. Oh my God, Nigerians. This one say, are you sure he is a tailor? I thought he only arranges the material. Hmm, sarcasm there. This one says, this one says, you won't even get the opportunity to chair a primary school PTA meeting. Oh my God. Ah. This one say a former governor, labor leader, secretary general, textile union. If you are privileged to have him as your dad with his achievement, Omo, you know go go yan like you know yan like this. Leave hatred, Jare. He has made his mark. Uh, well, that's actually true. And this one says, if they tell you to reject it first time, you will say no. Next best, same way those who think their life redemption is until they move to Canada, until they get there before hearing another story that touches. 
Mm, this one says here, I never forget what my bros said the first day Osho Baba was chosen to lead the APC. He said he's going to scatter things and he did just that. Did he actually scatter things? Mm, during the analysis, we're going to look at all of that. Someone says here, bro, long time no see. How was the retreat? Only if they can dare to give you again so we would know for sure if you would truly reject it a lot of comments from nigeria osho baba is a well-known politician but we all know what happened to him this one so basically has made good his promise he said he's going to retire him from politics indeed he has come it has come to pass wow now who is osho baba let's look at uh, the life of time of osho baba, osho baba has uh, actually left a mark on the sands of time though actually he left um the arena in a very humble state when he was power drunk yeah that's the thing that's the word osho baba was actually power drunk based on the things that he did and um kind of it, it almost affected all the previous achievement that he has recorded because a particular time came that osho baba was just um very reckless in decision making you know, he did things that were very apparent that uh, he was going to scatter the, you know, party. Topmost on the list was actually the Edo State election where he, you know, started misbehaving. Yeah, I use that word because actually that was what happened. He did not um, make the right decision because no matter what, uh, you have to still understand that there's something called the power of the incumbent. No matter how strong you are, a man who has the machinery of the state in his hand and he is going to stand election, very few of such people, especially key politicians, can fail at that state. And already, a lot of things were uh, very much against him, you know. And um, despite all the calls from different quarters that he should forgive uh, Obasiki and still make Obasiki to be um, the person leading, he refused and still opted for Ezeyamo. And look at what happened at the end of the day. He was humble, and that was just how... You know, APC was kicked out of uh, South South geopolitical zone. Right now, if you look at all the um, governors in South South, not even one person is from APC just because of the mistake of uh, Osho Baba being given the second opportunity. I don't think that anyone in his right senses will want to avail him such opportunity again because um, we all know who politicians is. If they avail him such opportunity, it will be a time of payback especially for those who were really against him being kicked out of that position and those who are also returning possibly as governors come 2023 or who are returning as senator Osho Baba would have shown them real level and um, you know his removal a lot there were a lot of talks about his removal that uh, it was well planned out but I don't think it was planned out most people say that it was done to jeopardize the chances of uh, um, the former governor of uh, uh, Lagos State and also the national APC chairman or national leader of APC from becoming the president come 2023 or getting the presidential ticket from APC come 2023. But I, I feel that the reason why it was all said out was because um, he misbehaved and that's just it. Well, that's where we like to leave it. If he's given the opportunity, do you think that all those words he's saying are just story you will accept? Listen.